Alaikum, welcome back to the Philip Scott Show. I'm Ungil Zalalem bringing you the story. Today's story is about a post I saw on Instagram. This lady was on a blind date and she took 23 of her family members to that blind date and the bill came to $3,100. And guess what? Her, <laughs> her date fled. Fled the scene, left her, ghosted her, and she was left to pay the $3,100 for the dinner that they had. Fam, sometimes it's so hard for me to imagine that there are people out here living with us, human beings, that think like this, like if you're on a blind date, how? <laughs> What makes you think that it's all right to bring 23 people with you, family members? If you're having a family get together, just then um, tell the guy that you're supposed to be out with, I'll meet you later, or we'll meet earlier, or you'll meet up tomorrow, another day. Why in the world would you have a blind date and on that date you bring 23 other people and eat food? and the bill comes to 3,100 and you don't even have the money. So that means you are assuming that he will pay for it. So when he realizes how crazy you are and your family members for doing this, he ghosts you and you don't even have the money. Like all 23 people came together. You can't contribute 100 each, 200 each to pay for this amount. How, like, what were you thinking? I just, it's so hard for me to envision these people that think that this is okay. 23 people, fam. I, I hear of girls, like I, I hear men complain that sometimes on a date, uh, their girls will bring three, four friends and they'll eat something and they expect him to pay for that whole meal. And I get it, by the way, I totally understand men when they are pissed when people do this. If it's something that's planned, okay. If it's something that you go out together and you share, okay. If it's understood that the person will pay, like after you told them, I don't have money, okay. But for you to have to be on a blind date, it's not even your second date. You don't even know the guy and you expect him to pay and you don't have the money to pay for it. I do not feel sorry for the woman. I do not feel sorry for those people. 23 uh, family members that ate with, with them, all of them need to pay for their own meals and go home. And this guy should thank his Lord for what just happened because this is a red flag. For you to see this on the first date means that God is saving you from the next date, third date that, that you would have went out with this person and would have been crazy. So good for him because he dodged this bullet. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about this story. I'm Wangil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.